Chamberlain really expected people to praise her for scamming her fans again. But this time, you guys, she's actually selling an Instagram DM for $10,000. I'm sorry, are you Beyonce? I mean, even Beyonce would be ashamed to sell a DM for this amount of money. It explains why people are not happy with how Emma is still taking advantage of her supporters till this day. We all know that she has a history of scamming her fans since day one. We're gonna get into all the details in just a second, but for now, make sure to stay tuned to find out what really went down. If you guys know Emma, then you probably know how this girl had a revolution throughout her career. Because she went from posting DIY videos on her channel to straight up modeling for popular magazines and attending the Met Gala. To be honest, I wouldn't say that she didn't grow up in a very safe and stable environment because from what we've seen on social media, her mother and father supported her career ever since she started posting on YouTube. And of course, once she gained followers, she began experimenting with her content and that's when she really hit the jackpot. Not only did Emma make her entire personality known as a coffee addict, but she even expressed her fashion preferences to her fans and for some reason, people really fell in love with it. Now, I'm not sure if this was a huge mistake or not, but based on the controversy that followed this situation, I would say that it was a big problem. The reason why I'm saying this, you guys, is because many of Emma's fans back in 2018 were obsessed with her as a person. I mean, the majority of them were trying to copy her aesthetic as an iMovie vlogger and a visco girl, and by that, they were straight up dressing as Emma in public and copying her entire personality as this funny, quirky person. This situation, you guys, made Emma gain tons of supporters at an early age of her career. In fact, she became known in the YouTube industry immediately as she began collabing with many huge YouTubers such as Tana Mojo, James Charles, and the Dolan Twins. Despite how she was treated as this rising YouTuber that could potentially become a huge influencer, unfortunately, Emma kind of took advantage of this situation to earn money as a side hustle. And well, this, you guys, threatened her entire career before it even started. From the day people began copying Emma's fashion aesthetic on social media, some fans began asking Emma to release her own merch that complements her fashion sense. And of course, Emma did not hesitate to take advantage of the situation by collabing with the company High Key, who helped her release tank tops, scrunchies, denim jackets, and even her teddy bear coats. Although many of her fans were highly disappointed once her merch came out after they realized that the merch pictures on her website were blurred and that they were only sold in one size. Yeah, guys. I don't know what Emma was thinking once she made this decision, but not only was her merch blurred on the website, but they were also expensive as well. This, you guys, made Emma trend on social media with hundreds of fans calling her out for scamming them with cheap merch. And as a result, Emma went on live to address the situation by claiming that her merch was hand sewn, hence why they were very expensive. I, another reason why it's so expensive, and I know this is annoying, but it's the same thing. I don't know if you guys know the brand Unif, but the brand Unif, like, they hand sew, like, all the clothes. And most of the pieces in my line were literally like hand sewn, which is cool because it makes it like really nice, but it also makes it kind of overpriced. Like the scrunchies, obviously they're scrunchies, it's very clear. Um, they were literally hand sewn scrunchies and like there's a little tag in it that like they hand sewn in. And they're in. really cute. And they're really cute, they're really well Love done. It. And like, but literally if you can imagine, right? Like someone in a literal like place was sewing every single scrunchie. So obviously we wanna pay them as much as possible because they did all that manual labor not, you know, yeah. like whatever, like that's a lot of work. And of course, people sold out her entire website in under two hours. It's crazy that this controversy went down back in 2018 and people are still talking about it to this day because a lot of people on social media believe that Emma has a tendency of scamming her fans. And this came after she launched her first ever coffee company shortly after she scammed her fans with merch. I mean, if we think about it, it totally makes sense why Emma would launch a coffee company out of nowhere because as I mentioned before, Emma's entire personality was based on her being obsessed with iced coffee and her being vegan. However, the launch of her coffee company, AKA Chamberlain Coffee, left millions of fans speechless after they noticed that Emma was selling coffee bags for $60 on her website. As much as Emma was excited to sell coffee beans for her fans so they could relate to her, unfortunately, she received major backlash on social media for scamming her fans again and profiting off of her personality. Now, you might think in this case that Emma's coffee 
coffee company would lower their prices or even shut down their business following all the hate. However, strangely enough, the business was able to succeed internationally, you guys, after Emma allegedly made $27 million off of Chamberlain Coffee alone. You know, it's kind of crazy how this girl managed to profit off her business on the verge of being canceled. If we're being real, I feel like her strong fan base is the reason why Emma is still succeeding to this day because to me, it seems like the general public is the only one upset over Emma's business tactics while her fan base on the other hand is supporting Emma constantly. I mean, if we really think about it, I'm pretty sure Emma would have been canceled and forgotten a long time ago if it weren't for her strong and dedicated fan base because we have seen how many of her YouTube friends such as James Charles and Jeffree Star got immediately neglected after they got canceled. We can only say that Emma is just lucky enough to have people who are willing to support her every day. Although her recent controversy that went down earlier this week left millions of fans speechless after they noticed that Emma was selling a personal Instagram DM for $10,000 on her website. Yeah, guys. I don't know what level of scam this actually is at this point, but from what people saw on her website, shopemmachamberlain.com, she was actually charging 10K for a personal thank you note from her. And well, this situation, you guys, made millions of fans disappointed and upset as not only were they shocked at how Emma was charging for an Instagram DM, but they were also surprised at how Emma hasn't learned anything about scamming her fans. 10K, all she did was get people obsessed with coffee and lip balm. Fair, she is now in the fashion world, but still, this is insane. The way it's more expensive than Beyonce or Taylor tickets is so crazy. The fact that she doesn't even have any sort of talent or skill either, like she's nice and all, but girl. She's not making enough from laying in bed and talking to herself about how terrible her life is, lol. As a result of all the backlash, Emma and her team decided to respond to the controversy by closing their entire website and writing a message regarding the situation. And well, this message claimed that the Instagram DM offer was never intended to be active or purchased and that Emma herself had no knowledge of it at all. There have been false and inaccurate claims that Emma Chamberlain was offering DMs in exchange for 10K. As background, in 2018, Kozak, Emma's merch company, was testing a prospective reward program related to Emma's merch without her knowledge. In testing, they created an outrageous, never activated reward level that was not intended to be active or purchased. These reward ideas were never run by Emma since they were not meant to be available for sale or reward, but simply were intended for internal testing purposes. This was never made public and certainly was never planned to be sold or purchased. The test program was never discoverable on the main page or product listing site, which is another reason that Emma had no knowledge of this. With the internet's tendency to create false narratives around sensationalized stories, we wanted to provide you with the truth firsthand and from the source. The site is currently down for internal review. Anyways, loves, make sure to click on the tab above for more juicy videos on these influencers.